Hello, I'm Ken from Danfoss Climate Solutions. Welcome to this Danfoss Out of Cool training video. Today we will focus on our AKCC55 water loop controller. And we will start with a brief introduction in our refrigeration lab. This is our case controller, AKCC55 water loop. It's dedicated to simple plugins, plugins, and water loop systems. This is a simple plugin cabinet. And below here, below the panels here, we have the evaporator, where the heat is absorbed from the void inside, and uh, the test dump we have installed in the uh, there. Um, this is taking place because uh, we have a refrigerant changing phase from liquid to vapor. And the heat is then pumped through the compressor on the top here, where we increase the pressure and temperature. The gas is then, or the heat is rejected into the heat exchanger on the top here. In this compartment on the top of the cabinet, we can see the compressor and the heat exchanger a braced plate heat exchanger where we reject the heat to a water circuit or a brine circuit. Welcome back to the studio. I would like to show you the controller we are demonstrating today, the AKCC55 water loop. It's a part of a larger series, also consisting of uh, the AKCC55 compact, which is uh, actually based on the, water, uh, the compact version of the controller with a couple of more IOs. Over here you see the larger version of the AKCC55 single coil. It's a larger footprint with more IOs. Up here we have the uh, display, the Bluetooth display, and you can connect the Bluetooth display with your um, smartphone app called AKCC uh, Connect app. I would like to go in a little bit more detail. As mentioned, this is the AKCC55 water loop. It's aimed at R290 propane semi plug in applications with water or brine cooled condenser or a water loop system. It covers a variety of semi plug in applications with a single, dual, or speed control compressor as well as a capacity control of a brine pump. The injection is done by a thermostatic expansion valve, which means that the controller has no refrigerant setting. Most refrigerants can be covered. The AKCC55 water loop is the latest variant based on the innovative Danfoss case controller platform, fulfilling all requirements for sustainable operation of food retail outlets. Besides water loop, the program consists of a compact version, a single coil advanced version with or without a display and a multi-coil version. The controllers support wireless connection to a mobile service app via a Bluetooth connection in the remote display. The Coolprox software application handles online and offline programming as well as firmware update in an efficient way. In this slide here, we can see how controllers can be connected to the system manager via the bus communication, preferably Modbus communication. We can also see that uh, we can connect displays to a uh, controller. You can choose between an info display, a setting display and a Bluetooth display. We can also connect the controller uh, to a PC and run the Coolproc PC program. And with this program here, we can also make service updates or firmware updates. Here we are showing the wiring of the controller. On the bottom to the left, we can see the power supply. It's a switch mode power supply which covers a voltage range between 85 to 265 volt AC. We have then additionally uh, five relay outputs. In this example here, we have one for a compressor, an alarm output, a fan, 
a light and a defrost. For the input, we have temperature sensors S3, S4, S5 and S7. You can, if you want, connect an additional temperature sensor S8 or you can use the input for a digital input 1. Besides this, we have a digital output 2 and we have an output for the uh, frequency converter uh, for the speed of the uh, um, compressor or the pump. And then we have finally the Modbox communication. On some of the applications 2, 4 and 6 and 8, you have uh, the option to uh, decide what should be on your IOs, and particularly IOs, uh, the digital output, where you can choose between fan, fan echo, defrost, rail heat, alarm, light, blinds, heating element and condenser fan. And you have also a number of inputs you can use for the digital inputs. And finally, on the analog output, you can decide what type of output you want. Is it a, a speed output for the compressor? Is it a PVM output or is it a, a for a speed pump? We have different applications. Application number one and two is, uh, covers a semi-plug-in cabinet with a single compressor and we control the compressor capacity on-off in this application. Application number one uh, has selected digital output. Application number two has flexible user-defined uh, uh, outputs. So you can freely uh, select digital output two to five uh, from the list uh, from the previous uh, slide. Application 3 and 4 covers a semi plug in cabinets with two separate circuits, dual compressors, typically used for propane systems where you want to restrict the charge on each circuit. So the two, charge, the two uh, circuits here are diff, uh, s completely split. Application 5 and 6 covers a semi-plug-in cabinet with a speed-controlled compressor. The analog output signal can be of the types voltage, frequency or pulse width modulation. And here again, application number 6 has four flexible digital outputs. You can decide what should be on them. Applications 7 and 8 covers a brine cabinet with a speed control brine feeding pump. And for the pump, you can also choose between three different types of output, voltage, frequency or PVM. Application 8 has freely uh, selectable output, four of them, uh, covering uh, digital output number two to five. The mobile app via Bluetooth gives the best user experience through wireless Bluetooth connection of mobile app. The mobile app is easily connected to the display via simple pairing procedure. The mobile app enables fast and easy service via intuitive navigation, providing simple but informative screen for service troubleshooting and quick up and running procedures. On my smartphone, I would like to demonstrate how to connect to the AKCC55 water loop. I have my Bluetooth display up here. And in order to be able to connect, I have to press the Bluetooth uh, icon here. And you can see now, I can see my address. And we have the Bluetooth icon here. 
that means we can connect. On my phone, I press connect to controller, and I can see that AKCC55 water loop address number 5 is available here. So I press on it, and now I go into details. At first I get an overview picture of the evaporator and the sensor connected to it, and uh, also whether the valve, the solenoid valve, is open or closed. I can see my temperatures on S3. I have 2.5 degrees centigrade. The air temperature is also 2.5 degrees centigrade. That's because I use the uh, S3 sensor alone for my air temperature. I can see the S4 temperature has a level of 1.5 degrees centigrade. And I can also see my uh, defrost sensor. It's on 7.2 degrees centigrade minus. And I can also see that my solenoid valve is on. Let's go into um, the uh, controller info. In the controller info, we can see what kind of controller we have connected to, namely the water loop. We can also see the code number and the software version. We can even see the application we have selected. It's application number five in this case, and a lot of other uh, values here we can check. Then I would like to go into the uh, quick setup. I can see here that, uh, as mentioned, application number five has been selected, and that's one out of the eight you can see on the screen here. I can also check a number of other uh, data here if I want to. Then I can also go into the parameter menu. It's an even more detailed uh, set of data where I can set everything. I can also go into the graph and uh, I can decide what if I want to make a trend lock, I can make uh, uh, the data or see the data on a graph. In the filter here, I go in and select. Uh, food temperature is already selected, but I would like to see the S4 temperature and the control state and the S5 temperature sensor, the defrost sensor, and the S5, S7 also. Now I have selected these sensors, and uh, on the display I can see that uh, I get the curves here d displayed over time. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact your local Danfoss uh, support or go to danfoss.com.